Okay, so I've prepared the cane slip to an even thickness and cut it back in this case. Now it's still a little bit wide at this stage so I want to uh, finish off with a, a half inch wide reed so that'll be 12.7 millimeters. So I'm just going to sand it down and I want to do this evenly on, on both sides and you can you can see what you're doing at this stage just by looking at it and you can see a nice even <coughs> thickness of cane just at the edge on both sides so measure it at the very centre yes 1.1 which is ideal now the width 12.9 so I'll come down a little bit more at this stage I could probably come down to 12.5 because as the reed is tied together it sort of flattens out a little bit and it might widen off a fraction but um, it'll be fine anyway so that's ideal I just want to See, uh, see something there I want to take out I missed earlier but it's all important the inside surface of the reed is one of the most important aspects of the cane so that's the cane now if I lay this reed pattern on the outside of the reed I find the bit of reed that looks the most even. You can use a pencil or I'm using a fine tip uh, marker pen. Um, and just mark around the the reed pattern. Now this pattern's got scalloped tails and I'll also mark on these little notches here that that gives me shows me where to um, push the staple into and it gives me the half way mark of the of the cane so if I then just well you could use an engineer's square here but I'm I'm just working it out by eye I'm, I mark across there these across these marks so that'll be the basic cane shape and dimensions now I provide a cutting block with the kit but this is this is one that I've been using it's this, this is a smaller diameter than the one I provide with the kit but so long as I roll the cane as I'm cutting it it'll it'll be fine so cut the length first so roll the cane roll the knife on the cane rather there you go slice through it nicely now I might use the little scalpel here and carve the tails <laughs> I'm cutting towards my finger but if you're not confident always cut away from your fingers otherwise you might cut your fingers obviously so just carve the tails as I say these tails on this reed pattern I've got a scalloped shape to them I quite like that. I also use um, a different pattern for reeds. Sometimes you can um, use whatever shape you want, really. But this 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 makes quite a elegant reed, I think. So I'm staying with it for now. 
So that's roughly carved into shape. Now all I need to do is just taper these edges here. If I zoom in you can probably hopefully see a bit better what I'm doing. And then just refocus. Okay, I hope you can see that. Now I'm just shave a taper onto the sides of the scallop here and for the last quarter of an inch just taper that down at the back on the back end at both ends and finish that off with some sandpaper or a file I'm just using the sanding boards here just at the back, the back end of the reed you don't want to take too much of the the crust away from the main body of the reed but just at the back end of the reed where you're going to tie it onto the staple you want a nice smooth transition onto the staple so it's all rounded off and smoothed down and a nice fine point at the end as well so when you tie it onto the staple you don't get a lump sticking up. Now I'll finish this off when I've uh, tied the two holes together but this reed is ready now for for cutting in half so I've got the half line marked and I'll just move the, the camera so that you can see me better and refocus <coughs> onto the cutting block here and again just roll the knife and get my thumb out of the way you can see better what's happening <coughs> Oops. so just roll the knife over the cane you won't damage anything there those two slips will fit nicely together now now if there's any unevenness at all at this stage if you just pinch them together firmly you could just very lightly just run one on the sanding block to just even up the sides together but they'll never need very much now I can see by holding these two together that the tails aren't quite even so I'm just going to even them up and again finish off with a little bit of sandpaper now the only other thing at this stage is well I'll, I'll, I'll tie them on first Um, I just need to get some fine thread and uh, I'll run a bit of beeswax on, into it just to help it stay together. I can just wrap that around the, the cane holding the cane nice nice and evenly together down to the three-quarter way mark along the length of the, the blade so I don't know that not too tight but just so that it's held they're held firmly together and just tie a couple of half hitches there um, Look down the sides, make sure everything's even. Make sure that the tails are nice and rounded and evenly matched. And that's the blades prepared. Okay.